Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Fortnite creative tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you another new mechanic that will allow you to create a healing spot, or better said, a healing based trigger system. So as I said in the intro, today is all about healing. We're going to start with the instantly full healing system and then after that we'll create it into like a healing well. To do this we're going to be using the new class system designer tools that Fortnite introduced to us in 10.3. This mechanic is one that needs to be built outside of your map, just like some of the ones we had before. It's important because one of those class devices creates a small area and when you run over this it will change your class. But we don't want to use that area, we just want to use the trigger part of it. So go outside of your map and grab a class selector. Before we continue, I want to explain in 20-ish seconds what these classes are. So classes pretty much allow you to override default settings of your island. You can override anything from max health to gravity and flight. And then when applying this class to a player or team, they get these new settings applied to them. But for this mechanic, we actually don't need to override anything. Because what happens when you switch class, your health resets. And this is exactly what we'll be using to create the healing. And therefore, we don't need to use the class designer, but we do need a class selector. So throw it down outside of your map and go to the configuration. The first thing we need to do is the class ID. Set this to 1, this is really the identifier. So we'll later use this in the trigger system. Change the time to switch to instant and scroll all the way down to the change player to class when receiving from to channel 1. So all we did is when we transmit on channel 1, we instantly change the player to this new class. And because we switch class, because before we weren't set to any class yet, the player instantly heals to full. Lastly, let's just add a button that will transmit on this channel so that we can activate this new mechanic that we made. Let's just say, heal me. And that one will transmit on channel 1. For demo purpose, let me just add a spawn pad and a zapper so that I can demo this. So after we took some damage, let's just press the button, which causes us to change class. And as you can see, we're back to full health. Now there's still some small issues with this. First of all, when we click this button again, it doesn't heal us again. So let me go out, take some damage. And as you can see, when I'm back now and I click it, it doesn't heal us again because it doesn't actually change class because we are already assigned to class 1. So back to editing mode, let's add a small extra part to this to fix this issue. Copy the class selector and paste it right next to it. Then go into the configuration and change the identifier to none. This is the default class that has the island settings preferences. Then scroll down and set the change player to class when receiving from to channel 2. Then go back to your original class selector and set the very last option called when class switched, transmit on to channel 2. Now this mechanic works slightly different and will work an endless amount of times. When we hit the button, a signal will send on channel 1, triggering the class selector, causing us to heal, and to be assigned to class 1. But because we set the when class switched transmit on to channel 2, another signal will send as soon as we switched and is picked up by our second class selector that switches us back to the default. Now every time we press this button, we change class and go back to the original, allowing us to press it however many times you want for endless healing. Now lastly, if we want to make this in like a healing spot or, or healing place, just throw down a trigger instead of the button. Stretch it out, change the visibility to off. Now whenever someone actually stands on this trigger, it activates everything, healing him back to full. Now let's just decorate this into something pretty and we'll be all done. So I'm just gonna leave you guys with a little time lapse of how I created a healing spot and I'll be back after.
Thank you guys so much for checking out this mechanic. If you liked this video, please subscribe and leave a comment. I really love talking to you guys, so I really enjoy comments. And it means that you stuck around to the end, so you receive an extra applause for that. I'll see you guys soon with a lot more mechanics. There's so much stuff I'm working on, so I can't wait for you guys to see it. And I'll see you guys soon.